So this has to be a joke, right? There's no other explanation. It is a joke, but I'm not laughing, and you know what? Neither are the British people. Guys, welcome to the channel, The Mars Survivalist. Survival and preparedness for real is what we do here, and so as to get better prepared, you have the channel with a ton of information, and I always suggest getting my books to survival skills and surviving the economic collapse, because you need these more than ever. And if you don't believe me, mom and public meeting that sends into chaos as locals are told Hotel migrants will be giving private health care to stop them being a burden on the very stretch NHS services. Of course, of course, why wouldn't they? So you have the very stretched NHS service, so these migrants are receiving with, I mean, your money, you are paying for it, uh, private health care. Yeah, so uh, they're not, so imagine how stretched it is, these, these people... They don't deserve that kind of treatment. No, 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 no. They, they, I mean, waiting and receiving poor treatment, or as I said so many times before, stories of young girls not getting treated properly and getting sent back home when they actually had tumors growing all over their bodies. You cannot have that happen to these uh, gentlemen, these fine people. No, no, they, they should get the best of the best. So they get private doctor system says they're contracted with a private doctor system says counselor evans told the residents that's my understanding it's not a statement of on fact that should it's that should mean they won't be putting weight on our local health care service wow well nice well done let's celebrate that <laughs> People start laughing. Right. So she says, wait, I I've been waiting for years on a waiting list. And these people get private health care. Uh, and he says, well, I, I love I love it. This gesture of his like, <laughs> like, yeah, that's how they're not burdening the system anymore. They they get <laughs> they get sent to private health care. Oh, gee, it is. It is something, isn't it? It is something. Migrants picture these. These are people. I mean, uh, I've been I've been an immigrant more times than anyone. I mean, most of my time in different countries, I've always paid my way. I've always paid whatever I need to pay. Never, n never been a, one of these fine gentlemen that just jumps on a freaking boat and just uh, asks for handouts. No, that's never been my case. But man, <laughs> you're taking people's money to pay for for people that go there illegally, just. Not doing anything the way you're supposed to. Not doing anything right. Just going there illegally and just being taken care of. It is. It is humiliating. It is humiliating what they're doing. And because people are still polite, they just go and say, "Oh, well, how is it possible? Uh, and, and that's all they do. No one is really revolting. No one is really just kicking these people out of their, uh, their jobs. No, no, no. It's just... Uh, Years waiting in the hospital. There you go. Well, you know what? These fine gentlemen, they won't be waiting anywhere because they will get private health care provided by you. At the same time, you're being squeezed out of every penny you have, every pence. Every quid you have just squeeze out of you through the states, through the power of the states to finance the health care of these young, bright mind gentlemen. Nice Nikes he has there. Nice, nice. There you go. Great. Fantastic. It's incredible, isn't it? Yes. But it's happening. It is, it is very much real. See you later, guys. Take care.